Um, does anybody have any ideas for how you sneeze on camera? <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Human beings are social creatures. We like to be around each other. However, this is making us great hosts for the virus known as COVID-19. The closer you are to a person who's infected, and the longer you stand close to them, the more likely it is that you will become infected too. Now, infection comes from respiratory droplets, which are small liquid particles made from saliva and mucus coming from your nose and your lungs, and they come out when you talk, cough, or sneeze. Here, take a look at this close-up of a sneeze. <sighs> Disgusting, right? These droplets can fly up to eight meters away, potentially infecting anyone in that range. One way to stop these droplets from spreading is by wearing a mask. And this is becoming mandatory in places with evidence of community transmission. If you sneeze or cough, a mask will help to keep your potentially infected droplets between you and the mask, which helps to keep those protected around you. So let's take a look at how this works by sneezing with a mask on. <laughs> As you can see, a mask is a really easy way to reduce the spread of droplets. Masks also act as a protective barrier against other people's droplets from entering your mouth or nose if somebody else around you decides to sneeze in your direction. <laughs> oh, disgusting. Okay, now while this is helpful in theory, in practice, sneezing into your mask is gross and could mean having to wear a wet and snotty mask all day. So if you are heading out, I recommend also carrying some tissues with you. That way, if you feel the sneeze coming on, you can quickly unhook one side of your mask and sneeze into the tissue. Achoo! Then place your mask back on using the ear and put the tissue in the bin, making sure to wash or sanitize your hands afterwards. Now, sometimes a sneeze might catch you by surprise and there isn't time to grab a tissue. So the next best thing to do is unhook your mask and sneeze into your elbow like this. It's not ideal, and you will need to wash your top when you get home, but it will help to keep your mask dry while preventing the droplets from spreading through the air. We're still learning a lot about this virus, as it's not safe to test on humans, but recent testing on hamsters found that the use of masks reduced airborne transmission of COVID-19 by over 60%. While they take a bit of getting used to, research from all over the world is showing that face masks can really help to reduce the amount of COVID-19 virus that you are exposed to, as does keeping your distance from others and washing your hands with soap and water often. As the dose or the amount of virus that you're exposed to correlates to the severity of your symptoms or how sick you get, less virus is definitely better. So if you are sick, please stay home and help protect us all. Bye. Um, does anybody have any ideas for how you sneeze on camera? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out on Twitter and see what people say. Look into the sun, apparently. Juice. <laughs> Nothing. Eat a tic tac. Eat a tic tac. Second one, two. It's yeah. minty. It's not making me sneeze. Sniff white pepper. Here we go. <coughs> oh no, it's coming. Wait, it's coming. All right, get ready. Here we go. Hmm.